what's up guys this is Ian so about a month ago I posted this Boom. picture on Instagram and I had a few people ask how I did it so today will be a rendering tutorial on how to do that scaled model or physical model effect on Lumion I kind of figured this out on my own since I really tried to look for tutorials on YouTube on how to do that but unfortunately I didn't find one so I thought of making one right now also I am gonna mention that for you to be able to do that draw over or sketch over the image style effect you are gonna be needing either a drawing tablet or an iPad which I use personally for my workflow but in any case I'm still gonna be able to teach you how to do that rendering on Lumion only with your laptop so no worry without further ado I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that okay so before we get to the actual rendering we are gonna be needing a few things firstly is we are gonna need this texture that you can make on Photoshop just as long as it is a square but in any case I am gonna be providing you with this file and I'm gonna put it down on the description the second thing is we are gonna be needing yeah, this backdrop or this cube model it doesn't actually matter which texture or which uh, 3d modeling app you use just as long as you have this shape and we are quickly gonna export that as a collada file you can also use a sketchup file but i do prefer a collada file uh, anyways i already had that exported so i am not gonna be doing that right now <laughs> And another thing is we are going to be deleting these two wall planes and we're going to be left with this floor plane. Then we're going to change that material into any other color or material and we are also going to be exporting that. Again, I have already exported mine so no need for me to do that but make sure you do export it either on SketchUp or Collada file. So for the 3D model or the building model that I am going to be using is this sample project from Revit. Uh, this is the model that I tried to make before this video but we are going to be starting from scratch. We are going to use this plain template. So open that and before we start importing our files, I just want to mention that in order for you to achieve that style, that scale model or physical style model of rendering, you are going to have to actually emulate that it is in fact a scale model in Lumion. So it's not going to be like a 1 is to 1 scale but rather a lot smaller scale than that. So. Uh, let's jump right into importing our models first I am gonna place the backdrop that I made in SketchUp so this is what it looks like we are actually making a small studio like a micro studio for photo shooting and I'm gonna place another one which I am gonna rotate yeah, so for now we're not gonna change the material we're just gonna set our mini photography studio <laughs> yeah so uh, we are gonna find a table it doesn't matter which table you use just as long as it is a table because that is the platform where we're gonna be placing our model so I'm just gonna upscale that a little bit oh too much um, next, I am going to be importing the mat, uh, the cutting mat that we made a texture on. I already have that imported in, so I'm just going to put it right here. Yeah, it's a bit of out of size. It doesn't matter since you can actually uh, resize that in Lumion. So we're just going to put that down in about the size of the table so um, when you import this the material is going to be different and it's not going to be that matte texture right off the bat but 
we are just gonna put that on the table real quick right about there just make sure to place it um, nice and neat yeah that's about right right there and then we are gonna start importing our models so for me I have a topography model or a site model and I am gonna be placing that in here again uh, your models can be out of scale but then you can just um, rescale them down when you are in Lumion Okay, so now that we are done setting up, uh, I'm just quickly going to run through you the materials that we are going to be using. So again, that mat of yours wasn't still on the right texture. So click on materials right there and cho actually choose whatever. Um, for me, I'm going to be using uh, a fabric, which is that one and click the X button and uh, this is an important part where you use the color map and we're gonna find that texture that we made early on right there and it, it is not exactly the right size texture yet so we are gonna downscale that so go to your map scale on the left side of your screen and just scroll down and until it is quite right for your model and for the relief we are going to put that all the way down as well as our gloss and reflectivity if you want it to be lighter do use the colorization as you can see it changes the texture uh, i mean the tone of your uh, cutting mat so i'm gonna put it right somewhere right there uh, yeah Seems, seems about right and for your uh, model um, initially this was a different texture but do remember to use a monotonous type of uh, color palette in my case I'm gonna be trying out a, a different one so I'm gonna be going to wood I'm probably gonna go with this one Yeah, so before you change everything, uh, every material in your model, just make sure to upscale the size of your textures just so that it has that uh, scale model effect that it seemed that it was cut out from a, from a piece of wood. And for your windows, do not use the clear glass, which is this one right here. Make sure to use a translucent one just so it looks opaque and it comes from uh, an actual scale model material like acrylic. And do use white on your other textures such as these. I did use a roofing material for this one and if you want to change the color of that just crank up the colorization tab and choose whatever color you, that you want it to be. So in my case I'm going to be choosing for a grayish uh, white. Yeah, so right there, right about there. So now that we are done setting up, we are gonna start setting up our rendering just quickly gonna set up my camera and for this I am gonna be choosing either realistic or interior but for now I'm gonna be choosing the realistic one and there are a couple of things that we have to disable so uh, firstly we are gonna need to disable that skylight so it doesn't cast strong shadows on our model and secondly is we're gonna disable that depth of field so everything is sharp and everything will be not blurred and you can also add your Sun uh, if 
you are very particular on where the sun is shining or your light source is coming from uh, also do decrease the sun brightness do take note that this pretty much takes a lot of adjusting and trial and errors you are not gonna get it right the first time wait I forgot something yeah so changing the texture of the backdrop you can pretty much choose any color that you want or any material that you want but for me I'm gonna go with the plaster and I'm gonna tone down the relief scale it down a bit and maybe some gray yeah put up the glossiness a bit right now we are gonna start rendering I already do have a settings that work with me I'm also gonna put that uh, file in the description down below so I'm just gonna load that file right here load effects and the scale model effect you can load effects on your upper left hand corner of your screen so right there so I am gonna put this file on the description down below but I am gonna run you through uh, the settings that are in here so just watch carefully so here are the sun settings and sharpen settings I didn't exposure color correction reflection hyperlight skylight 2 oh I think I'm gonna yeah I, I turn the these two settings on and I'm gonna try and render that out once more and things are actually looking pretty good and there we have our final rendering if you want to change your backdrops into another color or into another texture just uh, change these materials and do so also if you are not satisfied with the saturation you can also put up that colorization tab if you want to get a different color yeah, and this is pretty much what it should look like right there also last tip for you guys if you want to um, put this later on to post processing I suggest you save the material ID map or the lighting map but I don't usually do that so I'm just uh, saving the material ID map and I'm gonna show you what that would look like so we're now in Photoshop and we are gonna put that material ID map so the purpose of this material ID map is for you to adjust certain materials that you want to later on post. Let's say I want to adjust this roof and I quickly want to select that. Also, I kind of want to uh, adjust this black part right here. And then after, after selecting, just disable the visibility and go to your image. Uh, image layer and as you can see we can adjust the brightness pretty much anything even saturation levels so we are pretty much done with our rendering and the next part of the video will be the sketch over or the draw over part if you are not interested in that do skip to the end of the video and I, I still have something to say to you guys so I'll see you there yeah, so for uh, sketching over my rendering, I do use Procreate to draw over my image. I'm just quickly going to disable those layers. And uh, I do suggest that you use the... Uh, 
and I do suggest that you use the pencil tool just because it looks more sketchy and for those who are using Photoshop uh, it is actually okay if you use a different pen tool and also do make sure that you are drawing on a different layer just in case you do make any errors so you can quickly erase those drawings that you've made so that is pretty much it for this drawing over the image part i'm just gonna show you those layers layers once again and there we have it that's it for today's video if you did like any part of that video please consider subscribing or at least drop a like because i am gonna be doing tutorials like this in the future so make sure to watch out for that and i am going to be ending the video right here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time